Well, when we choose our ammunition for deer that we're going to hunt with with the 444, we want to be careful that we don't fall into hype. Back in 2006, Hordenday came up with the Flex Tip FTX lever revolution. This is what I hunt with, and I've had extremely good luck. I've never missed a deer with this ammunition. And then in 2010, they came up with the Superformance 444 that's supposed to increase your feet per second up to 200. Now, is it worth it? supposedly doesn't increase chamber pressure or recoil so that's what we're going to do today now it's kind of strange that i had a person write in last week and said that the 444 was overkill for deer you know what i wonder back in 1847 if they considered the colt walker overkill hmm i'm river Bay and welcome to my gun kingdom. I've done several videos uh, with this 444. This is the Marlin, uh, 1977. Um, it is a, has a 22 inch barrel on it. Now, most of these uh, ballistics are for 24 inch barrels, but it's gonna be pretty close. We got the chronograph set up behind us here. And so we're going to test out the Superformance and see if there's that much difference and it's worth changing over. I hunt in very thick woods and I have it zeroed for 100 yards. Now, if you don't hunt in really thick woods, or on the edges of cornfields, you know, something like that. I would recommend zeroing your rifle in at 200 yards. In. And um, then that way, if you'd shoot a deer at 100 yards, if it's zero for 200, you would have to compensate for a three inch rise uh, at 100 yards. But that would be a lot easier to do instead of having your rifle zeroed in at 100 yards and then shoot out to 200 yards and compensate for a six to eight inch drop. Now that's what we're gonna do today is we're going to compensate for the six to eight inch drop at 200 yards here. But I don't wanna zero my rifle in for 200 yards since I hunt in thick woods, so. But anyway, this video is about the ammunition and if we should switch over. So what I like about the FTX is um, I think the BC is much better um, on the on the uh, FTX uh, because if you notice here and I'll compare the two here here's our FTX and here's our superformance here notice here that we have a flat point on it all right now according to Hordendy, these are safe to load in a lever action gun too they don't use cheap materials when they when they make these bullets um, so these primers are top line same way with the ftx no cheap materials are used now if you hand load your own well then that's that's really great but for some of us like me i don't have time to hand load my own now, I, I load my own shotgun shells for skeet and trap, but um, I just don't have time to do everything. So anyway, if we compare these two, they're pretty much identical, except I think the, I think that the FTX has a little bit more aerodynamic to the bullet than the, uh, than the Superformance does. But we're gonna, we're gonna test it out, and first thing we wanna do is, is test it and see if we're really getting a 200 feet per second faster. Now, I will be posting the ballistics as we shoot these um, cartridges here today, so you'll, you'll know exactly that once we reach out to 200 yards, you'll notice that um, the feet per second is pretty much even, maybe 25 feet faster um, for the uh, superformance. So I don't know if that's going to give us better grouping we'll have to find out um, but anyway what we'll do is we'll we'll set up the targets and um, now I'm gonna set them up uh, the same height out there so and then also we'll have the GoPro for instant feedback 
and I have my spotting scope with me today so um, we should have some um, decent results here but we don't have any wind right now uh, the sun's out um, I did put a filter on the camera to help with the glare so um, but anyway um, you know I have my rifle zeroed in with the FTX and it's going to take a lot to convince me to switch over to the Superformance. Now you might wonder well, what's what's the difference in the cost of these two? Um, the cost difference is two dollars more for the Superformance than the Lever Revolution and, and cost is going to vary on where you're at. But you know um, for a straight wall cartridge um, and hunting deer I mean, you can't go wrong with, uh, with this ammunition, whichever one you choose probably, but let's find out today what kind of grouping we're getting, if we're getting any better uh, grouping with the Superformance over the FTX. Now, they say um, the Superformance is going to be better if you shoot um, game further than 100 yards. So maybe, you know, this might be better at 200 yards than say, the FTX but that's what we're going to do so let's get it okay so let's start out with the uh, Hordendy Superformance uh, 200 feet per second faster uh, than the FTX but like I said before when you get out to 200 yards there's not that much difference but we're going to see if these group a little better. So let's shoot five each. Let's see how we do here. Now we got a Leopold 3x9 scope that we have on it. Like I said, it's zeroed in at 100 yards. So what we're going to do, both those targets out there by the GoPro are set the same height. Now when you use a chronograph and you have a, this is a 3 by 9 scope, so what I wanted to do is I don't want to have it on the highest power right now. I want to have it on the lowest power and make sure that I'm not going to be shooting, hitting that chronograph, okay? That's the first thing you want to do. Now, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hook up the chronograph to my phone because I can read it from here. And I'll let you know what it is here. All right, so now that I'm sure that I'm not going to hit the chronograph, I'm going to take it up to the highest power, which is 9. All right. Just when you're on highest power with your scope, you just can't see the, the rods of the chronograph. Okay, so we're going to aim at the far left target out there, all right? And both those targets are the same height. All right. So if we have our gun zeroed at 100 yards, out to 200 yards, with this ammunition, we're going to have about a 68 inch drop, all right? So that means I'm going to put my crosshairs right on the top of that target, not on the bullseye. Because i got to compensate for that, all right? Let's, let's, let's see how this cycles in here, the Superformance. No problem. So if you watched my last video with the 444, you have noticed that the trigger pull, we did a test on that, and this is 2.5. All right, so I want to make sure I keep my finger outside that trigger guard until I'm ready. And then I can squeeze it off, all right? All right, here we go. All right, and feet per second.
was 2347. So if this is only has a three inch drop, that means I'm gonna come down with my crosshairs. Let's see how this cycles. Nice and smooth, huh? Nice and smooth. I'm gonna put my crosshairs right on the top of that white eight inch diameter, okay? Here we go. All right. That was twenty three seventy five. So that was about oh about a five inch drop there. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the putting the crosshairs on the top of the target again. Here we go. Okay, so with the crosshairs on top of the target, it raised it up pretty close to that one, the first one we shot. If you notice that, uh, we're still shooting over to the left, but we're still within that eight inches. 2349 was that last one we shot. So we're gonna see if it's any faster, but like I said, out to 200 yards. It's pretty much gonna be the same as the FTX. We'll see here. All right. Okay, so since that shot a little high, I'm gonna come down just a tad off the top of that target, all right? Here we go. Okay, so I got one more with the Superformance. So I'm gonna come down a little bit further. I'm gonna come down about three inches from the top of the target this time. Here we go. Shot high and to the left. Okay, so we're going to let the barrel cool down. All right. Yeah, the barrel's a little warm. Okay. So we'll uh, wait 15 minutes and let that cool down. Okay, so we've let our barrel cool down here. Uh, to be fair, um, we gave it about 15 minutes, and it's not bad at all now. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the uh, Horton D Lever Revolution uh, FTX. Uh, this is with the polymer tips. Okay, so I'm not going to quite aim at the top of the target. It's probably going to be about three inches down. Here we go.
and that was on the chronograph it was 2256 that first one the super performance is a little faster Okay, crosshairs I'm going to put right on the top of the target this time. Alright. Here we go. Crosshairs right on top of the black target, okay? Here we go. I'm going to stay with the crosshairs on top of that black target. The sun is brutal. I got my hat protecting it here, protecting my eyesight here. Here we go. Okay, and when you're out to 200 yards, uh, 25 feet per second difference that you're going to have an improvement with with the super performance. I mean, does that really make a difference to be concerned about? I don't think so. I think accuracy is more important. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep the crosshairs right where I've been shooting. Here we go. Is it well we're gonna go down and get the target but from what I can see in the spotting scope uh, hands down it's the lever revolution and that that aired out again so I didn't get a re another reading on that for some reason all right, so, but we did get one reading with the FTX, but, you know, um, I don't know, for me, it's not worth changing over to the Superformance. I guess what it's going to come down to is what you can find at your gun store um, and then buy a couple boxes. Uh, of these whatever one you get and then zero your rifle in with the ammo that you're going to hunt with like I said but so whatever ones are available for you to buy um, you're just going to have to zero your gun in with whatever whatever one is available but I don't think you can go wrong with either or but for me I'm not going to change over to the super performance 25 feet per second faster at 200 yards is not going to make me want to change over to a Superformance ammo by Hordenby. Um, I like the lever revolution. Um, I think, like I said, the aerodynamics of these bullets are a little bit better than the Superformance. All right, so um, another thing is that I noticed on the package here, it's kind of misleading. But anyway, they show this like it has a flex tip, uh, a polymer tip on it for some reason. And 
but that's kind of misleading to what's inside the box. It's it's a flat flat point. So um, I don't know. I guess this box must be generic for other ammo that Hordendy makes or something like that. But so we ended up having a perfect day to test out this ammunition uh, from Hordendy here, uh, the Lever Revolution and the Superformance. And we did get um, a better result with feet per second, uh, 15 feet away from the muzzle. But like I said before, is it really worth um, changing over since my 444 is zeroed with this lever revolution and um, as we're going to see here in a second I'll pull up the targets but for me to switch over to the superformance you know and, and gain 25 feet per second at 200 yards I don't think it's worth it um, I like the BC of the lever revolution much better but anyway let's take a look at the targets here now this was with the superformance here um, and you can see we didn't get a tight grouping uh, there was a group here that was uh, close and I was placing my crosshairs up here at the start and uh, I think this one was the first one I hit with the crosshairs up and then I lowered my crosshairs down to here then I hit here and then I brought the crosshairs back up here again and hit these other ones but you know, um, inside the eight inch diameter here, um, we would have got a deer. Uh, this one probably would have got the deer too. Uh, but these are just kind of like all over the place. So for me to switch over um, for that reason, uh, feet per second faster, I'm not gonna do it now. So here we have the lever revolution. FTX shells and you can see my grouping of all of the five was so much better uh, in this group right here of three pretty much you know perfect for 200 yards with a straight wall cartridge so uh, but I like the FTX better I, I'm getting better results with it so but you know I placed my crosshairs um, right up here at the top for this group of three here and then for this one I think right down here I placed my crosshairs right here all right but this group of three it was all the way at the top all right so like I said it's it's what's available I mean you can't go wrong with Hordendy uh, ammunition if you choose a Superformance or if you choose the Lever Revolution uh, both are really safe I know this one's really safe in the lever gun, and, but they say on their website, the Superformance, I checked it out uh, before coming out this morning, and they also say that the Superformance are safe to load in the uh, lever gun too. So, but either or will do good. And two dollar difference a box, two dollars more for the Superformance over the lev lever revolution, so that's not a big deal. Um, feet per second. Um, if you're shooting at 100 yards um, or less, uh, Superformance is going to get there, you know, faster. Um, speed kills. So, uh, but anyway, uh, it's up to you. But I like both of them. But for me to switch over at 200 yards, I'm getting better, uh, better uh, results with the Lever Revolution. But I hope you like this video. And if you did click that like button down below make sure you share it with your friends ring that notification bell and always subscribe here because there's more videos coming up with a 444 but i appreciate you watching today thank you